Well, welcome back. The summer's upon us, and a lot of you are getting outside, taking a hike. But how do you do that safely? That's why we have Kathy Silverman from The Local Hiker to give us some 10 essentials for getting outside and doing it without getting uh, in too much trouble. Kathy, always right. good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so The, the Local Hiker, you guys are all about the outdoors. You have all types of workshops that you do and you have mm -hmm. every piece of gear that you can imagine so <laughs> let's start with like people planning Pre preparation is key when it when you're talking about hiking and being outside knowing where you're going and how to have all the, the tools you need to stay safe that's correct yeah you want to honestly assess your skill ability and then choose a trail that is suitable for that and then do your research to make sure the trail is open it's not closed for any trail maintenance or erosion or anything like that and then um, you know, let someone know where you're going to go and when you expect to be back and then get your backpack packed with the 10 essentials, which is the bare minimum you should take. And that's to help because, um, of course, if your day hike is supposed to be a day hike, sometimes they can inadvertently turn into an evening hike or, <laughs> you know, sometimes even unfortunately an overnight. And so you want the minimums to be prepared for so that. There's some gear that you need to make sure that you're prepared in case right. that does happen. Right. And you brought some items here today. Uh, I always start with footwear because I think right. it's so important. It is, yeah. You see people out on waterfall hikes sometimes in flip-flops, and that's just dangerous. So it you want to make sure you have some good hiking shoes or trail sport shoes or something like that that has some good traction on it. Wear appropriate socks, mm -hmm. um, not cotton, you know, because your feet are going to sweat. You just don't want that moisture on your feet all day. So many accidents each year because people not wearing proper footwear. So Correct. make sure you've gotten that as well. A nice good pack is always good as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then some sun and bug, bug protection. So in the form of sunscreen, sunglasses, sun hats, those kind of things, that's important. I was telling you, I swear by a sun hat because if you right. spend so much time outside and it's direct sunlight you know it's, it's not good for your skin and it get, gets you overheated and everything so make it sure does. you invest in a good a good sun hat mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the the hammock yes yeah you always want to remember something fun so just you know it doesn't all have to be about the miles and how far you go you want to just go out and enjoy the day sometimes and you find a good spot and you're like i just want to sit here for a right. little bit and read a take book a good and, book yeah. yeah so this is this is a great thing to have right snacks are always key snacks are key <laughs> yep um hydration so make sure you're hydrating well before your hike but then mm -hmm. also taking enough water with you a couple of liters for a day hike is typically sufficient but again assess the temperature and the weather and all of that um, and then have a way to filter some more water again should your day hike turn into more exactly. then you have and, a way. And what are aqua tabs? Those help you filter? Yeah you can just drop those in the water it's got the instructions on the back based on how many liters okay. of water and how many tablets you drop in there and how long it needs to stay you before you can safely drink it. Yeah and, so it's small it. and easy so yeah. I've been on lots of hikes where the dogs like they brought water for themselves but the dogs are, need right. water. Yes. So sometimes you have to give the dog your water you're like I yes. don't want them to get it overheated as well so make sure you're thinking about your fur friends too when you're out right the right and you can get things like dog backpacks and then they have little bladders for dogs that you can <laughs> fill up and they can actually carry their own water in their backpack and stuff so it doesn't add a lot of extra weight but it would be enough for think for about your your pets if you're going to be out on the hike as well yes. they need it as well uh, we mentioned this at the beginning talking about trail maps and having books that have different right. hikes in it you guys sell those we do yes we sell different books you can find the information online as well it's just always important to check the trail to make sure again that it's not closed for any reason um but yeah, just tell awesome. them where you're going to go. You guys have some great events coming up. We do. Uh, one on Saturday. We do. It's a nationwide event with American Hiking Society, National Trails Day. We will be out at Croft State Park. We're going to do a longer hike on the uh, Foster Mill Loop, um, doing some light cleanup and trail maintenance. And then we're also going to have a shorter hike on the Nature Trail with some adoptable dogs from Critter Connection. Awesome. So yeah. that's going to be a great opportunity for folks that are looking to maybe have a, because hiking can be about, you know, community and being out oh, with other course. people. and. And, and like leaving it better than than you found it, right? right. That's yeah, we want to protect our resources. Yes. You guys have a Father's Day hike on June seventeenth. We do, and that's just going to be on the Cottonwood Trail, just a short little thing out to the bridge and back. So really, it's suitable for families with small kids. But um, yeah, and then we'll come back to the to the shop and have a little cookout and some sweet treats for the kids. <laughs> and yeah. Perfect way to spend some time with Dad. Mm -hmm. And of course, you guys are located right in downtown Spartanburg. We are. Uh, easy to find, right on the corner there, right mm -hmm. across from Spilled the Beans. Yep, yep, so right on Main Street. And, and check you guys out. And I like following you on social media too because you're always doing workshops and hikes and mm -hmm. you have all the pros in the shop to help you if you're looking to get started with it. Because it can be intimidating with a lot of gear, but it can. you guys can lead them through that as well. Of course. And we have rental gear, so nobody has to invest a lot if they're not sure if it's something they're going to like um, initially and don't want to make that big investment. We rent packs. Tents, sleeping bags, all that kind of stuff. All that so, stuff. Yeah. And of course, you guys are open for ice cream. At We're <laughs> open for ice cream across the street at Hub City Scoops, yes. <laughs> it's yeah. a perfect time to go out and get some, some sweet treats. Yes. Kathy, thank you so much for thank all that you, you do Jamarcus. and for keeping us safe on the trails. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.